Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Johnny Cage versus Foe. This game taking place here on Northern Isle. All right, I believe both of these players chose random as their particular races and we'll see what unfolds in this matchup. We're looking at Johnny Cage spotting as the red undead player on the bottom left hand side of the map going up against Foe spawning as the teal orc. Orc versus undead in a 1v1 matchup should be a great, great game. Get the go to go ahead and speed things up to that two minute mark which is that all important mark in well warcraft 3 where the heroes are finally out in play and we can start seeing some of the strategies and the execution and game plan being brought about it is going to be a lich first going up against a farseer and we are looking at headhunters coming in from those so headhunters um, coming in from Tho, perhaps an eventual transition into berserkers meanwhile a lich first is always a little bit of a dangerous proposition thank you for the sub um as a lich first you don't have access to that early unholy aura for that faster movement speed coming back around we're looking at that lich now quickly killing out one of those units thank you for another sub did someone gift out some subs um if that is the case i continue to thank you guys um, for supporting me through over all of these past few years as the Lich now moves over to clear out this Ogre Magi creep camp. It looks like it was, in fact, um, a bit of gifting Wild Striker. Um, well, I'm not quite sure who gave the subs away. I don't have, um, well, enough monitors on my desk to actually keep track of my Twitch dash dashboard, but thank you um, to all of the whoever gave that the sub right there as we see a Lich now purposely getting that Frost Nova off to clear out that Ogre Magi there. Coming back across here, we're looking at the Lich continuing to deal a, a, quite a bit of damage. Spot. Um, all right, apparently people who aren't even on the channel right now are getting um, subs as well. So a lot of subs gifted. Um, I don't know, is there a hype train going around? Um, thank you for the support once more as the Lich is trying to protect this, um, the, well, the um, Acolyte from getting taken down by those Spirit Wolves. But we will end up getting taken down once more. A new Acolyte will need to be placed down in order to haunt that gold mine and get that expansion up and running. All right, Lich is, was really looking to try to get to level 2, perhaps getting in Dark Ritual as well. But unfortunately, unable to finish it off as additional skeletal minions have been trained up. Yes, absolutely. All right, coming back across here, Lich now making rounds as well. We are looking at perhaps a new Acolyte will be making its way over, haunting this gold mine and perhaps getting in a bit of repairs on that Nerubian Tower. Lich is now back out onto the field at level two, and with level two ha should have access to Dark Ritual and be able to put down the necessary pressure to stop all of these Spirit Wolves from really getting in some big attacks. There goes a little bit of damage there, resummoning the Spirit Wolves once more as a foe. Well, using those Headhunters and Farseers rather effectively here all right low or large bit of damage already straight up onto that ghoul the ghoul is now trying to retreat back another ghoul now trying to retreat back nerubian tower does need to get in some repairs there are two acolytes across here as well as the skeletal minion gets taken down farce here still sitting at level one after all this time and now with the nerubian tower in position well it will be more difficult to try and defend this um location all right so um thanks for the gift sub all right so yeah very much dd for the um for the for the gifts and the and the support all over across there that definitely does help me keep on going coming back around we are looking at the lich and um, doing a bit of reveal perhaps trying to get a little bit of scouting information on his opponent here there is the reveal right there as the farce here now does have level two and now has access to that all-important chain lightning to pick off trailing ghouls mana will become an important important aspect of this game pj nom 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 thank you for tuning in as well as we're looking at that farseer now looking to back up here lich now currently low on mana does have dark ritual but does not want to sacrifice a ghoul to get a dark uh, a frost nova off onto the farseer unless he can guarantee that kill acolytes will quickly be able to jump inside this haunted gold mine and with that said and done Undead gonna have the economic advantage. Coming back around, let's uh, move across and see what is gonna be going down here. We do see the Shadow Hunter already out and about for Tho going into dual bestiaries. Meanwhile, we are looking at Johnny Cage looking to get some spirit towers and a necropolis here up and running. Is he gonna have enough to perhaps deal with? Is it gonna be Wind Riders? No, Raiders and ensnaring down units trying to pick them off one at a time. 
uh, we're expecting so i'm expecting so even though orc is not his main race to be executing some beautiful strategies and some micro to pick off some of these trailing trailing ghouls and perhaps continue to build um, his hero advantage by being able to pick off his opponent's units um, coming back through johnny cage wanting to get to level three on that lich that is incredibly important he aggroes the creeps just as the well the far seer the far seer shadow hunter and head hunters are now making their way inside the base the second arubian tower is being added acolytes are going to get taken down necropolis is already trying to train up additional additional acolytes here as we're taking a look at acolyte after acolyte just absolutely getting punished here far seer chain lightning bouncing things around here raiders now joining in on the battle as the Nerubian tower the second Nerubian tower is still not online all right unit after unit gonna get taken down here shadow hunter taking a, quite a bit of damage takes a healing wave to try and survive there or is the shadow hunter gonna survive down to 84 down to 73 54 hit points trying to dodge and that last last missile coming in from the lich which would have finished it off well he was able to get enough distance away from the uh, auto attack in order to head back home beautiful beautiful execution there as we're looking at the farce here and shadow hunter once more going to be placing down a bit of pressure lich is at level three as i mentioned as also having that potion of greater mana and that potion of greater mana could really translate into something big as the lich already has 200 mana as well there should be multiple frost novas coming back around shadow hunter back up to near full hit points as the farseer now coming in across as well shadow hunter sitting at level one farseer sitting at level two acolytes trying to do a bit of repairs dual nerubian towers not slowing things down enough as the raiders are just diving on in here causing problems in comes some headhunters ghoul they're gonna try to make their way through as the headhunter now looks to back away there's a big frost nova there and that headhunter looks like he will be able to survive continuing to fight back and forth here raiders getting in a couple of ensnares as this one raider down to 68 hit points may be forced to retreat as well as the shadow hunter and farseer are continuing the fight here a swarm of skeletons could cause some problems as the lich now trying to make its way back over gets a frost nova onto that raider and hitting some subsequent units once more lich continuing to battle it up here there goes another unit as a well shadow hunter able to get off a bit more heals this is a bit of a swarm on both sides everyone just dealing large bits of damage against each other as the shadow hunter could have a very bad day scroll of speed but it's not gonna be enough healing salve did not heal the target fast enough right there needed a little bit more time to get in that little bit of additional additional heals as the farseer now wants blood from that lich all right lich now trying to retreat back here we are getting in a chain lightning to bounce things around as some acolytes could end up getting taken down once more it looks as though that one raider will uh, the one raider will end up finishing off the acolyte there as ghouls are still coming back around here level three now on the far seer so level two spirit wolves are going to be coming into play as the shadow hunter will resurrect quickly since it was only at level one far seer looking to retreat back Headhunters, raiders now making their way back off to the north here. We do see a, uh, a ward there keeping track of what's happening inside the base as the Farseer and raiders are once more going to be pushing into the main base here. Altar of Darkness could easily get well punished here, but the Halls of the Dead is up and operational, making it difficult to get in and land of those attacks. Two Nerubian Towers as well means that the well each of the raiders could have their auto attacks slowed enough to cause problems johnny cage still playing the defensive economic game trying to translate his well economic advantage and defend that economic advantage here we are looking at a little bit of damage onto a low hit point raider that raider going to try to perhaps head back off to the north here create a little bit of distance shadow hunter out onto the battlefield uses the clarity potion but it's quickly quickly well stopped right there as the shadow hunter now gets up to level two more damage added back up those spirit wolves with those critical strikes right ranking up damage onto all of those crypt fiends as another crypt fiend gets taken down ghouls and skeletal minions trying to make their way over trying to finish off the raiders the raiders with that medium armor absorbing quite a bit 48 supply compared to 42 but with a five supply army difference and now what is this another in a transit unit going to end up getting taken down as the spirit wolves along um, the spirit wolves alongside raiders able to finish things up death knight 
is out here onto the battlefield as well. He has a potion of mana and rod of necromancy. Raider is coming back across. He's going to quickly take down this altar of darkness. And there it goes pretty quick. But I would have expected, well, no, there wasn't enough Raiders earlier to actually damage down and take down that building that quickly. Lich now getting um, well greeted by the dire wolves here. Acolytes coming back over to try and repair this one crit. But multiple Raiders able to easily, easily stop many of those repairs as a lot of mining is still being disrupted. All right, couple of ghouls, triple ghouls all getting ensnared right there. Headhunter should have no problem finishing those units off. As you can see, the wolves are just able to get in some easy, easy attacks once more. Another round of ensnares going down across, keeping track of the timing on those ensnares. Absolutely perfect to get in some quick kills. Level 3 on the Farseer getting closer to level 4. Shadowhunter also following up to level 3 should get there momentarily as the units are going to once more dive on in. No, they're just going to simply run by here sitting on a 48 supply, um, 48 supply army compared to 47. Uh, week and magus well good to see you as well thank you for tuning in live and thank you also for watching on youtube coming back through we're looking at the shadow hunter sitting at level two gonna get closer to level three meanwhile farseer heading off to the north as well we are looking still to clear things up here no overseers no assassins all gonna get taken down shadow hunter will get to level three here and this is all a little bit dangerous as johnny cage isn't too far away but johnny cage focusing on leveling up his own death knight as well vampiric aura an interesting pickup for uh, use alongside all of those raiders as we are taking the tier three and should be going into berserkers momentarily johnny cage does have the larger army he's been able to hold on to um, the economic advantage but is it going to matter as the hero level advantage is still greatly in favor of so with two level three heroes going up against a level three soon to be level four and a level one Hopefully death knight Coming back down and around here once more. Well, Nerubian Towers. Uh, well, Nerubian Towers and a lot of cold going to be coming across. Squirrel Town Portal teleporting straight on in. Are we going to see some engagement? There goes a big Frost Nova to start off the battle here as damage is already racking up onto the Lich. Raiders are trying to back away. Death Knight does have Death Coil and should be able to heal that Lich if there is any problems or issues. Spirit Wolves going after all of these Crypt Fiends and the Spirit Wolves are incredibly strong until... Well, destroyers are out here on the battlefield and i don't even see a slaughterhouse or tech to tier three yet units are still trying to retreat back here as it looks as though a low hit point raider could end up getting taken down no that medium armor protecting it from the piercing damage of those crypt fiends as the units retreat though is sitting on a large bank of gold 1200 1300 gold at a time and this is the perfect opportunity for him to attack at this point and stage in the game he, he is getting 10 gold a second compared to 14. And as long as he's able to translate that well, he should be fine. We are, well, we heard the upgrade to those Berserkers getting in a little bit more hit points and now ready to engage against all of these units here. Acolyte easily going to get taken down. Death Knight coming back across with that movement speed. And here we are coming across in the engagement. Uh, I have a dynamic. I have an SM58. Cardio a microphone. All right. I think it's, I pretty think it's cardio. I, I, Cardio, I, I don't even remember all of the specs of all of my things anymore. Anyways, Raider's going to go ahead and engage here, trying to keep a little bit of distance, but the Crypt able to blast past that Death Knight and continue with this push here. The Death Knight, right on the money with the... right on the money with their... with his experience, able to move faster and catch up easily. Off to the north, well... Tiny Great Hall able to establish up an ex a expansion very, very easily as Tho picks up, picks it up and should perhaps set up a watchtower or two to help protect against this um, any sort of harassment. All right, coming back around a Death Knight sitting at level two going after this Tuskar Sorcerer. Lich going to go ahead and teleport back as it teleports back. The Raiders are already in retreat and this is that hit and run tactic that Orc players are so known for. But undead here, Johnny Cage seems to be in a better spot being able to build up that army still and still having a quite a bit in the tank left now what will be happening here level four level two going up against a level four level three raiders look, looking to dive on in are we going to see some ensnare just yes, ensnare but a death knight finishing off a unit there continuing that battle here once more shadow hunter farseer continuing 
Um, well, Shadowhunter Farseer continuing to try and take down that Death Knight. Death Knight does get taken down. Chain Lightning finishing the job there as the Shadowhunter stays at level 3. And the, and the Berserkers are now using that Berserker speed to try and rack up more damage. Another Berserker does get taken down. Remember, while in that Berserker mode, they do take more damage. And well, they're trying to burst down the unit here. Lich is sitting at level 4, doesn't have Orb of Corruption yet. That is going to be a major, major setback for Johnny Cage as Johnny Cage still needs quite a bit of mana. You can see Obsidian statues are here, and as typical Rush or European players now going into Necromancers, as we all know that European players often like to go for, well, I'll go for those Necromancers and that pop-up skeleton army. There is no disenchant, no purge. Um, well, I take it back, Torrent Totem is already out, and we are going to be going into Adept training for that important disenchant. Have you added OBS Studio filters on your microphone? It, it just sounds so good. <laughs> um, I don't have any OBS filters. I, and I'm actually using XSplit. So um, back in the day before OBS was around, um, I had actually, and I was growing my channel quite a bit, I was able to buy a lifetime pass to XSplit. And XSplit is continuing to, well, build more and more things. Um, condensers, compressors. Um, I also have a soundboard right there, a mini soundboard that I can boost my gains. I, I can do compression and gating as well. All things that I've, I've tried to do as the Lich now comes out across sitting at level 5, getting caught pretty much out in the open here. Torrent Chieftain as that third and final hero, Chain Lightning. Unable to finish off that Obsidian Statue, though, as it does teleport back. Obsidian Statue down to 63 hit points as the units are now making their way back off to the north. All right, Skeletal Minions off over here trying to finish things up. Orc Burrow, X, X split. The X and then split. Like X, the letter X, split. All right, Death Knight. Lich still wandering around here. Orb of Corruption finally on that Lich. And now that final piece for that Lich to well, add a little bit of negative armor, allowing the Crypt Fiends to deal more damage is in place. Also, Death Knight with Unholy Aura giving the Obsidian Statue a little bit of natural regeneration to try and stay alive as well. We are looking at the Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 1 with that Endurance Aura. Should get to level 2 quickly. Shadow Hunter will be getting up to level Four as well and well Farseer also needs a bit of experience we are 18 minutes into this game and still no clear-cut winner as of yet all right Death Knight and well Death Knight Dreadlord coming in from behind this is going to be a potential of ma very major creep jack the Magnetar Reaver getting taken down are we going to see that yes Legion of Doomhorn picked up by the Torrent Chieftain so the Torrent Chieftain now even faster on top of everything else able to capture all of these units here that Dreadlord as that third and file hero and that Creepjack making such a big profound difference. Skeletal Minions trying to finish off that last Shaman right there. Come on, come on. It should be able to finish it off. Is it going to drop an item though? No, it does not. And it does end up giving, well, Dreadlord that much more experience. One more over here to the bottom right. And though, however, not remembering to go for the fortified upgrades on that Orc Burrow. And now this is where Johnny Cage may actually start to pull ahead with the use of these necromancers and being able to use a pop-up skeleton army it's not that the the skeletons are that scary it's going to be the fact that the lich has access to so many dark ritual candidates to be able to continually frost nova out many of the other units the torrent chieftain is currently asleep it's going to go and try and make its way in perhaps try and get in a stop there is another sleep that dreadlord with sleep is taking down that torrent chieftain and preventing him from being able to land stomps for quite a while that has opened up the doors for the Crypt Fiends to really push in through a little bit of damage as both sides are fighting back and forth here. Necromancers, however, getting taken down, and now Johnny Cage seems to be a little bit worse for wear. He does have three Destroyers up in the air, and it's trying to go up against those Wind Riders. Wind Riders win out in the Piercing War as Spirit Link still coming across, but the Destroyers are eating and devouring magic, many of, much of that Spirit Link as well. Lich could be in trouble. Lich down to 67 hit points, down to 21. Scroll of Town Portal at 12 hit points comes away with the, with the Survive as as a Wind Rider also survives at 11 hit points too. Very short, but very sweet one from the series via Facebook, just in case. All right. And yeah, I got I got another game. Um, I'm, I'm planning on casting another game. Uh, at least one more game. I'm running into technical issues for some reason. Cameras not working, microphones not working, t eating into my, a little bit of my casting time for the past couple, um, well, past two days. Coming back through Lich, sitting at level five, 
Death Knight now sitting at level 4. Dreadlord sitting at level 2. Level 2 Unholy Aura on the table means much, much faster movement speed for that Death Knight and, and all of these subsequent units. There are a good number of Destroyers out here as well. Meanwhile, the Headhunter count is actually starting to diminish as we are seeing more and more spirit walkers and wind riders joining in on the ranks so is in a little bit of trouble here he needs to get back into full saturation and it really just feels like if johnny cage tried to walk in with those destroyers um he could be able to take down a lot of damage and now what well, one creep jack deserves another on the red creep camps as the units are engaging here destroyer is going to try to engage as well we are looking at a bit of devour magic destroyer gets a last second burst heal from that death coil continuing the fight through as we're looking at stomps now going down as well torrent chieftain dreadlord able to get a, a big heal there once more continuing the fight after all of these units and there is just a lot of mess here no easily defined lines as the necromancers are getting taken down dreadlord gets up to level three what is he going to do with a level three dreadlord um, level two sleep for a longer sleep spell as the units are still getting burst down here headhunters or berserkers trying to retreat back the other way death knight with level two um, unholy aura able to catch up just a little bit even though the torrent chieftain has unholy aura and also his own endurance aura for faster movement speed coming back around 44 supply compared to 68 johnny cage's economic advantage has really started to take into an army size advantage as as he's turning turned the tables and now taken also a level advantage as well all right death knight sitting at level four johnny cage should perhaps be backing up with this lich the lich does not need any experience here can't get any experience here as a helm of valor a big item drop once more strength and agility for that dreadlord Johnny Cage with that third base established in the top left hand side of the map as well could make a, make a bit of things happen. Acolytes are trying to mine away the main bases and the expansion is nearly mined out. This gold mine still has 10 minutes of mining left at least or 11 minutes of mining left um, as we're looking at the units now make their way back off back to the north again. Now so has a bit of a uh, uphill battle to climb here he does have a level three torrent chieftain but as we've seen he hasn't been able to execute the stomps nearly as much as he wants to all right trying to catch all of these units engagement there you go big level two stomp as destroyers uh, just uh, uh, falling at the hands of those bat riders there death coil for the save once more continuing the battle there through D torrent chieftain currently falling asleep at the wheel here throws down another stomp but more devour magic removing some of that spirit link making the destroyers that much more difficult to kill as they're able to deal more damage and heal death knight could be in trouble no potion of invulnerability used in time after a devour magic beautiful clutch move right there as it looked as though the death knight was about to fall there goes another bat rider once more there is another stomp trying to go after the units but the death knight was able to back away once again all right continuing to back around farseer seeing that level five perhaps gonna try to dive after some of these units destroyer should be able to devour magic all of these units here and well and regenerate a bit of hit points once again so is in trouble up against the ropes does he have a combination of moves to try and break out here and deal with this lar the larger stronger um, army of johnny cage that is the issue here as the Ekin as the well main mining has now come to a stop it is one base mining or soon to be one base mining versus zero base mining here in just a moment as the lich could get caught out in the open no lich able to retreat back just in time clarity potions being used Torrent Chieftain still doing a little bit of dancing around Shadow Hunter sitting at level four, very close to level five, but still unable to um, to close things off here as a Frost Nova goes down. All right, what is going to end up happening? Torrent Chieftain using up that last Clarity Potion as well. Spirit Wolves making their way down, trying to perhaps do a bit of harassment over here on the bottom right. Not gonna see going to see that there is no more mining here whatsoever he may think that he is in a good spot but he does not know or perhaps suspects that there is an expansion over here on the top left all right little bit of damage coming on through army size 27 supply compared to 57 the writing is pretty much on the wall so needs to make a miracle happen otherwise johnny cage is going to be able to close out this game Johnny Cage sitting on a 67 supply, 67 supply compared to 34 army size, 27 supply compared to 57, more than double the size in terms of army as this expansion is now finally and well brought to light. Acolytes 
now falling at the hands of the spirit wolves a little bit of an engagement here destroyers are all in position are we going to see a stomp nope no stomp there's a sleep instead as the dreadlord well it stops the um torrent chieftain in its tracks torrent chieftain now trying to make its way back over gets another sleep once again and that is the problem trying to get the headhunter um, or some other unit the stomp comes down and that is just a bit late right there as the unit's continuing to engage again torrent chieftain now still making its way around the torrent chieftain stomped on nothing off on the other side finally stomps here chain lightning trying to finish off as the dreadlord could get taken down dreadlord gets taken down as the death knight was currently hexed torrent chieftain however could be in a little bit of trouble as he gets death coiled and taken down as well shadow hunter unable to get off the healing wave in time as the well torrent chieftain falls at level three lich is out on the battlefield level three frost nova healing wave trying to heal up all of these units death knight should be able to continue to burst down death knight does sit at level five as we see the level three torrent chieftain resurrected that may just be burst down death coiled and dead here in time no torrent chieftain gets saved at the last possible second there is another death coil onto that unit right there as the shadow hunter purposely tries to block the path of that death knight another frost nova goes down torrent chieftain trying to back away death knight still trying to continue to chase as the death knight going after the headhunters once again lich death knight not trying to make its way back across here farseer sitting at level five shadow hunter sitting at level five torrent chieftain sitting at level three the fighting spirit of tho not giving up but i believe it is just too much to overcome here short of a miraculous miracle in taking down all two to three enemy heroes without losing any of your own that is going to be a bit of the problem here torrent chieftain sitting at level three here are we going to see a stomp or, or anything like that units are still trying to back away there's another death coil stomp not gonna be in time and that is gonna be the game so has left johnny cage comes away with the victory a big big game between these um, two players here wow that's um well uh, between these two players here though however unable to um well continue his advantage as johnny cage was able to hold on to the economic advantage there a big big score difference even though it felt like so at any time could have used his smaller army to really come back out ahead thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it